What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So I was doing a um, little bit of, of lore searching. So I was trying to remember what lords we had left. Uh, and I got a couple confused. So we have Godric. We killed him at Stormvale Castle. We have Radahan. We killed him in Kaled. Uh, Renala, who we killed in Lyurnia. Rykard was the lord of Lindale. <clears throat> so he's down. Well, Rykard and Morgoth. We, we, we took both of them down. Rykard, Volcano Manor, and then Morgoth, the capital. And then the second round, he said Rani, Mikella, Millennia, and Lord of Blood. And don't know how to get to Lord of Blood. He said Rani, we don't search for, but I think Rani might end up being like a Gwendolyn type thing where we can fight her secretly. Um, and then Mikella and Melania, I'm guessing they might have to do with the tree um yeah so stuff but anyway let's let's head back on in into this place let's see if i can just run past everybody I'm not trying to actually let me just summon up my boy here because he'll teleport with me so if i just haul ass There's no dog that's gonna work you to me with the wake up. Go. All right, that takes care of you. I will grab all these fire blossoms. All right, Oleg, let's clear this place out. We got stuff to do. I also forgot during my like tying up loose ends episode, I wanted to, there was a, a tower that I missed near Ronnie's Rise apparently. So I need to go check that out. And this once again, discussing with other people playing, one of them's like, you get the wolf armor? And I'm like, no, I want his armor. And they're like, oh, I finished the quest. I'm like, I did, Ronnie left to uh, explore up, and I'm like, I mean up, he's like the tower, the third tower. I'm like, I don't even know there's a third tower. We gotta figure it out, figure that all out. Um, and there's more here, but I don't know how to get up. We gotta access this via the ramparts. Yeah, no, there's definitely a way up there. There wouldn't be enemies otherwise. Hmm. I wonder if it could be the ladder that's right here. Couldn't possibly be it, right? Three guardians, the flame are down. Is that it? Is that all that was up here? Guardians garrison, and we killed the guardians. Uh. Huh. Mm hmm. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't feel like we're done this area. Like, there's. Wait, did I? Is this how I got in? Why was there like a dead dog already? Maybe it just fell off. No, there's multiple dead dogs. Why are you not dead? Chief Guardian. Now that's the man we've been looking for. Beefy combustion.
I don't know what that's about to do, but it looks like it's gonna fire a fucking cannon out. Fire stuff, please. Oh, die. The one eyed shield. Definitely a great shield. 36 strength. 20.5 weight. My god. Flame spirit. Ready to shield and launch a fireball from the barrel. Fireball explodes on impact. So. They, they, she was trying to kill me. That, that, that was going to be a full on, like, boosh. Probably a ton of damage. That could be. Probably be better than the, uh, the other flame shield. I don't know. The the stat. What was the stat on it? Sixty-seven. That's pretty good on guard boost. All right. Ah. Papa wants a good spell. Giant's prayer book. That sounds like something I would like. All right. Let's go White Ridge Road. We're going to run through here. We're going to uncover the map. I know what else we have. I'm saving the castle in this area for last. I'm really hoping that gets me some cool spells because I mean, I, you know, I want something besides Flame of Frenzy. Beast Claw, well, these, these these particular dragon spells have been, they've been good to me. I will say that. And Flame of Frenzy has been good. Beast Claw has been good. And there's a couple spells that are really good. It's just there's also quite a few spells that just feel lackluster. Out the tops of the Giants East. Oh, what do we have there? That looks important. That looks like the spot where we get the flame. Yeah, I'm gonna guess this is where we get the flame to burn the Erd tree. That looks very fiery, like the core smith or something. Well, let's grab this. This will be the last thing we do while we're here. Um, let's see, what else is there to hit? Knocked out you, knocked out you. Uh, boom, boom. Hang on. Look. Just ride on back. Because technically I'm like at the castle. Indeed. Okay. Um. Well, no, there's the... Hang on. Let me look at the map. I think that might just be the uh, the trick tower that I couldn't figure out. So, something here. That is the tower, indeed. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, bum, 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 bum. We gotta go here and uh, loop around. Do the runes, do the Erd tree. Actually, wasn't the Erd tree before this? No. Wanna go get my new spells before I continue. They're spicy. I want them. 
And I don't know where the other faith dude is, so Mr. Turtle is our best bet. Hello. Greet. Uh, yes. Oh, very well. Paris. All thing. Giant's flame take thee, and flame fall upon them. <laughs> please be good. <laughs> please, please be good. I really want you to be good. How did I get down here? I just ran across the long chain, and then was it straight into this little uh, gully here? I'll just take a look real fast. See what, see what it looks like behind me. Uh, south. Yeah. Because there was that dude, and he was shooting at us while we ran through. Yep, okay. Alright. Uh, spells. Take off some of our buffs for now. I don't really need all those buffs. Giant's Flame. Take the and flame fall upon them. Ooh. That's a two-slider. I mean, two-slider. It gotta be good, right? I'll probably test these out when we get to the ruin. So far, current usage is uh, Flame of Frenzy is... My main boss nuke, for obvious reasons. Huge potential, multi-hit, all that. Frenzy Burst, we have as a range snipe option, which is great. Uh, decay, because decay. And then ice, because ice. Being able to apply decay or frost are both very useful. Uh, Beast Claw, I haven't gotten to use much, but Beast Claw, let me, let me see. Let me, yeah. Beast Claw is just cheap. It's cheap, consistent damage with AoE potential. It's not going to do the, the damage that we saw in the network test where we're like nuking bosses, but I don't need it to do that, so it's fine. Because, I mean, Beast Claw right now, I put it on par with, like, the, uh, the Black Fireballs we were using, you know? It's getting 400-ish four, damage, uh, but it comes out fast. And that's, that's what counts. Ooh, the moon is pretty. Let me run around there and get something. I don't know. Let me get up top, and then I'll just look down on that and see. We got ruins. Let's go do the Erd Tree, because once I go over there, there's no reason to go back over there, so get that done. I wonder if I'm too methodical with these games, because I have a very, like, like, you know, I'm like going down the checklist. Okay, I gotta do this, let me hit this, let me hit this. I'm sure a lot of people just want to wander and explore and do stuff instead, and you know, that's, that's fine too, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, but... For me, this is, uh, this is how I like to do it. That's 346. We're looking at 475 when it's charged. That's juicy. Expensive. 526. 739. Seems pretty fast too. Definitely, definitely on the pricier side. That's the other thing, is like just looking at, at 
the cost effectiveness of certain spells. That's a big factor for me. Because, like, you're, you're a little bit pricey at 24, but you're a snipe. 16, you're dirt cheap. Ridiculously cheap. Uh, 8, even cheaper. Making you a great, just consistent play AoE option. Also, why do we get this so late, man? It's 8 faith required. But you literally can't get it until, like, the end of the game. That just... I don't know. It seems like that should have been earlier. Like... Because Bestial Sling, that's 10 faith. Bestial Vitality is 12. Why don't we start with Beast Claw? Like, that should be the first thing we get when we meet that guy. Now, this dude, 32 FP. This one, 31 FP. This was 20. But it never, it just wasn't good. So, I don't know. Massive Ball, it's, it's expensive, but the damage is there. I'm not going to pretend it ain't, because that thing does do some damage. Minor Erd Tree. Where's our summon at? There we go. There's our ugly man. Carrying the ugly plan. Wow, you are beefy. Shoot, look at look at Oleg. Look what Oleg's doing. That's cool looking. Is it a multi-hit though? Like... It is. What the fuck? Doing okay, we're hitting a thousand damage. But like should that should do more. Weird is they don't, so it has definitely has a multi hit nature similar to um, Cerulean and Bubble. It has multi hit similar to Flame of Frenzy, but one of the things I noticed there was that it had to go, it had to travel a certain distance before that would take effect. It was like a single one was hitting for 433 and I feel like a lot of the time there, you know, we just weren't getting. Like when I tried to do the the blank range burst, I didn't see I didn't see that damage. You know, the it has thousand damage potential, but it didn't work unless I was like backed up and throwing it out, which is a little weird for sure. Because I don't personally, I feel like I should be able to run up on something, toss that out like it's a, a shotgun, and you know, blow up my target. And that is not the case. You can't do that with it. I don't know. I would I would give both spells like a 7 out of 10. I mean, they're decent. They're decent. The FP cast is high. I will say I like it as a fast option to Flame of the Frenzy. Because I can just toss it. Whereas Flame of the Frenzy is undoubtedly better damage. But I need to, uh, you know, I need to stand in place and blah, 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 blah. And like, you know, spit lasers out of my eyes. So that makes things a little bit trickier. Being able to just back up, throw, roll. It's 
water. And It is the jellyfish talking. I've been waiting ever so long. Forever and ever it seems. Well, this is a quest, like I need to cast Meteor Fall or something, and then the jellyfish is like the pretty stars and stuff happens. Um Held shut by a seal. Where did you go? Promise the stars. You promise me. Maybe there's like an item here that does like summons stars. The thing she's it's like a child that's been reincarnated as a spirit. Jellyfish spirit in particular. That's not relevant though. Point is I need to she wants to see the stars. I mean, I feel, uh, I don't see them doing like a quest where it's like, oh yeah, you need to, to cast Meteorite and to show her the stars. Cause that wouldn't, you know, that would lock it into very specific builds. That doesn't sound right. I'm not seeing anything here that looks That I could create Starfall with it. I'm getting out of the range of the place. Mimic's about to vanish. Um. Yeah, I don't know. We might not be doing this ruin yet. Let's let the mimic kill him. This is out of the range. Oh, nice job, buddy. Check. Maybe I have a throwing object that's like create star shard or something. Uh, magic bolt, many magic bolts, stronger magic bolt, gravitational explosion, vapor, bind dude. Oh shit, never mind. Looked like a seal broke. Um, I am running out of ideas on this one. What is your deal? Oh. So the fact that I was able to hit it once and immediately, like it wasn't like, it doesn't seem like an NPC type issue. Cause that would take multiple, multiple hits, you know? Uh, did I ever find the east, the east tower? I didn't, I don't think. Up there maybe?
Hmm. I do not know. Um, I don't think there's anything over there, which means we got the castle and then the hill where we get the seed of flame left. Let me just go out west real fast just to confirm there's nothing over here. We got a mausoleum, but that's... It's down near the castle, the beast eye quivers. I wonder if that's also near the castle? No, there's a bunch of gravestones and shit around here. But yeah, there's gotta be a, a ferryman. came over here map wise I was like hmm that looks like nothing over there no there's definitely something over here I don't know where his ass is at maybe here I see blood stains that's a death right bird shit Last one we fought, we couldn't have a summon. Comparative damage tests. We did 1600 right there. Stop the yelling. Oh no. Stop that. Stop that. Bad bird. Bad bird. Uh, I don't know, man. It's like I want to use new spells, but it's like... They're just not that good. I mean, yeah, Flame of Frenzy is really good because it's a multi-hit, but like this is a multi-hit, but it fucking barely, like they don't, it doesn't multi-hit the same. These are both, both multi-hits, but they are two different tiers of multi-hits. Hey, you want to fight uh, Oleg instead of me? Six hundred. See if they run up close too, you get nothing. You got four hundred damage in there. hundred that time. I 
it's just not worth it. We're not seeing, like, I didn't see a stagger. I did a little bit over 25% of his health using that. Like, man, ah, this bothers me. And the thing was, even if, you know, let's, let's, just to play devil's advocate, let's say for a moment, I didn't have access, um, I didn't have access to Flame of Frenzy. Even then, the damage numbers we're seeing really aren't that good. Like, that one's not bad, because it looks like it does a slight, a slight burn with it. Maybe I'll keep Giant's Flame on, just because the AoE nature of it might be fun, but... I think Flame fall upon them, just, I don't think it, it doesn't get the job done. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's more for AoE versus multiple bosses. Maybe that's the case. That could be it. I'll try them out. I'll, I'll keep them on for now and try them out in different circumstances, but... Yeah, there's a... Ow! Fuck, man! God, you birds suck ass! Death Ritual Spear. That's cool, but no Death Root. EDD, 142018 on Int. Bearing prayers into the sky to summon a downpour of spectral spears. It sounds pretty cool. Um, that's not what I was trying to get, though. So we, we killed him. I thought that might be it because like we killed him and I'm like, oh, okay, we had to kill him instead of a uh, uh, Tibius Mariner, but he's dead and I don't have a death root yet. Really?
feel a little bit robbed about that. That seemed, uh, seemed like the jump was fine. I, mean, I said it before, but some of the some of the jumps there really needs to be uh, there needs to be more transparency on like what would kill you and what wouldn't because that wasn't a high jump. Jump from up there? I think I jump from that high. I thought I jumped down to here. Oh, we're gonna find that death root because I think I get probably like a really badass beast spell. I don't wanna. Yeah, we got beast claw. The beast spells have not disappointed. We've got one that was a nice heal over time that I used for a huge chunk of the game. Uh, we've had one that has been just a quick, like, PvP finisher. Maybe the death root. Oh, hang on. Let me go to the peak here. I'm thinking maybe the death root comes from me murdering one of these things. Beast type river. Ow. Yeah, I'm thinking it's at the top there. It seems pretty plausible. Unless it's that corpse I was at, because that was like the central gangbang right there. I was gonna put on my buffs. But I don't have my buffs anymore. stones lead up here, but I'm not seeing anything. Well, let me see what we got left. Before I wrap the episode up, because if uh, still a bit more, yeah, let's let's just end here, because I want to get this death root. I want to figure out that one puzzle. There's still there's two puzzles to figure out, so there's there's stuff to keep us busy here. So we'll wrap up. Uh, we'll continue this on in a little bit. Catch y'all then.